Today we will also be replacing these big filter capacitors. I've left them in for now. They uh, they do work, but uh, there is some uh, thunderstorm-like noise in the back ground all the time, so it's best to replace these after how many years? 40 years? 50 years? It was a double, 16 microfarad and two big 25 microfarad. Uh, that last filter capacitor and uh, this inline power uh, resistor, which is blowing up, is looking very suspicious. I'm going to replace it with uh, two 1.5k uh, resistors of one watt making a 750 ohms resistor of two watts. Okay, we still have this extra 500k pot here that we haven't used for anything. In fact, it's still in the circuit and uh, this one. And it's bleeding off some highs. Um, but as it is, it can e easily be converted to a volume, master volume control. And one part of the pot is going to ground, the other one is going to the grid of the second tube and is further through connected to the um, coupling cap which is here. So what we are gonna do is disconnect one of the leads here, lead it all the way to the pot here and then have the signal coming back from the central lug middle lug to the grid of this tube. It's this part here in the schematic. Okay, that tone pot has now been rewired to become a volume, master volume control. Uh, and I put a one nano capacitor uh, as a treble bleed.
some quick remarks after playing this uh, amp now with the master volume control. Uh, one thing I think I have to change is the treble bleed cap here. It's interfering uh, with the tone control. It's making the tone control pretty ineffective and it is probably the cause that it goes from ki quite uh, shiny and trebly all the way completely dark in just a very small notch of a turn. So, but uh, the oscillations are not solved yet. So I will still have to address this and it might be worth putting in new tubes. Uh, I think I found something. There is this 500 picofarad cap to ground in the phase inverter circuit. It's here. If I short this cap out, most of the noise disappears and the squealing and all that stuff. And uh, when I tried to put a 100 picofarad across the input here earlier on, I didn't film that because there was 100, 100 pico originally in the circuit like that. It gave me even more squealing. So I think that uh, I concluded that there must have been some path to ground uh, through a faulty capacitor. And it might be this 500 pico here. I lose some uh, volume when I uh, short it out. Um, but as soon as I remove one of these clips, let's not electrocute ourselves. Listen to this. The least I want to do is replace this capacitor by a new one, like the Silver Mika I have here. Um, but we'll still have to disconnect it, so let's disconnect that part of circuit first. This will mean that the 10K here and the 500 Pico will not be referenced to ground and will be not in the circuit. Of course, uh, the distance from the guitar or actually the pickups of the guitar to the uh, open circuit uh, here in the amp is important. If I remove the guitar a little bit, the situation is much improved. Uh, so this is now with uh, the new uh, 500 Pico parallel. A little bit of squeal. A little bit of squeal. I just clipped it off. Let's just plug in the amp again and see whether it still works uh, with this capacitor disconnected and uh, proceed from there. Thank mm -hmm. you.